Greetings, combatants. This is Undercoming Caleb, the Sorta of Doom video. And this is a little different from what I normally do. Instead of just uh, actually picking a mod and, uh, you know, just goofing around. Instead, I'm going to be showing uh, a new map maker. Now, um, a recent subscriber by the name of uh, Bradman X, I believe, he um, told me that there is a uh, sort of new version of Oblige. Which, if those who don't know, Oblige is a, a map generator for Doom, which generates like a, a quite a few different types of maps and map packs with uh, lots of different variables from size to setting to number of monsters, types of weapons. There's, there's a lot of flexibility with Oblige. The last version of it was 7.7, .7, and uh, that's what I used to generate the map pack on my previous Doom video. But uh, Bradman X told me that there is a. Uh, sort of a branch of a blood called obsidian which I have right here I, I see the oblige logo so this is definitely a, a branch of, of oblige but uh, this is basically another map maker but it looks like there's a lot more flexibility here <laughs> a lot more and you got the typical game engine and stuff like that but you also have architecture which uh <laughs> wow <laughs> If you're planning to plan any choices that evolve as a size 50 or above, auto details required on. On by default if you do not have prefab control module on. The stability of the map, mass of size 60 and beyond, is not predictable. <coughs> well, fair enough. I kind of want to give this a try. I want to see how big <laughs> the maps can get with this. Upper boundary, lower boundary, Jesus Christ. <laughs> you mix up the ramp factor. Oh yeah, I guess it get bigger. Linear mode, nature mode, streets mode, urban only streets, pre-built levels, layout absurdity. <laughs> the layout certifier attempts to cause levels to over prefer specific shape rules from the rule set and will create odd and possibly broken but interesting combinations use your own risk. These options will affect the amount of levels have the absurdity module activated on. Selecting all will not necessarily make all levels absurd as it as it is all, but still based on chance. Let's see. But yeah, notice the, uh, a lot of this is the same, you know, outdoor areas, caves. A Z-Doom 3D skybox. Uh, it might be a little more intensive. If Z-Doom based on one of the options enabled, it's preferable to put this on if you have Z-Doom Vista enabled. I'm not sure what that means. I have, uh, I'm use, I use G-Z-Doom. Miscellaneous. You do pistol starts, alt start rooms, foreshadowing exit. Okay. Interesting size consistency, big rooms, parks. Man, there's a ton of them. Look at this. I'm going to be spending some time goofing around with all the different settings in this. This is pretty interesting. Advanced level control sky generator. Good God, there's a lot of... And, uh, yeah. Monsters gotta have the, uh... Not a monsters, you know. <laughs> ton of monsters. A ton of them. Uh, I just hope that doesn't get nuts level of, uh, ridiculous. Uh, yeah, we'll keep that normal. Okay. Monster Fright, mix it up. Monster Average. Traps, mix it up. Okay, monster secret. You know what? Heaps. You know, you know me. I gotta have a lot of uh, equipment and stuff. Very soon. Items. Heaps. Yes, yeah, secrets. I guess mix it up. Secrets bonus. Resplendent. You, whoa, hold on. Secrets bonus. It's not gonna. Adds extra content to secret rooms. Large rooms offer more content. You know. You know. You know what? Thing with Oblige, when it when it generates secrets for maps, it's kind of weird. It only so there's like huge rooms where it's just one item. It's like really, I went through all this trouble to find a secret just to get this lone little bottle. <laughs> so uh, we spun it. No doubt, this is going to be uh <laughs> pretty pretty fun. Do mine okay? But yeah, there's a lot more flexibility with this than with the original uh. Oblige. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and generate a map pack. See how it turns out. Um, yeah. 
see how it goes. So this will be a few minutes, no doubt. All right, so the uh, map pack is finished generating. Took a little time. Granted, I do have the settings, you know, maxed out with the size and stuff. And that's just going to spawn a lot of monsters, so... I don't know, I just like creating pseudo-slaughter maps with, uh, Oblige. Does that make me a psycho? Or just someone who likes to play Russian Overkill? I'm going to go with psycho. Yeah, there we go. Okay. I'm going to... Communism Powerful Force. Let's just go with this one. Okay. Oh! Okay. Oh, these are... Wow. Already, already just looking at the uh, auto map. The layout's a lot different than Oblige. I'll tell you right now. And look at the number of monsters. 1,691. Jesus Christ. Twenty so Again, I had... I intentionally made these settings like this. Just to... <laughs> just to see what it looked like. Yeah. But this looks pretty interesting. Layout's a lot different. Let's get some more ammo. But yeah, I chose a I chose I just chose Russian Overkill for this because reasons. Oh, and yeah, I'm using Brutal Doom monsters. Because why not? And I realized I left the uh Aspect ratio to 16 by 9, which, uh, you know what, we'll just go with it. Because some HUDs and certain mods, they don't look right when the aspect ratio is wrong. So you kind of have to toy with that till the, uh, you know, till the HUD's correct, or at least, or at least you can actually see it in the screen. So quite a bit of experimentation with that. But anyway, yeah, like I said, the layout's a lot different. Look, it had, actually, it had quote-unquote details in the architecture, like, so I always just call, like, let's just call them pillars, because they look like pillars. Like, pillars there. Got a nice tech pillar here. Got some sort of, a uh, guess lava <laughs> crack there. Okay, let's get the union. Might as well jump over that. It's not like there's any invisible walls, to my knowledge. Okay, I'm not sure if I showed this off. Oh, let's turn on the uh, sound real quick. I mean, yeah, my voice is still audible, but you know. Just in case you still have some, uh... Okay, I shouldn't mean to be that quiet, but... Okay. But yeah, I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but the Torch Glow... <laughs> for some update, has a new firing mode. It fires... a few, uh, incendiary missiles. And for those wondering, this... This weapon's supposed to be an homage to one of the weapons from Rise of the Triad. I got the, uh... X-Bomb and the... Firewall swords. Which... Huh, it bounces back. I wasn't aware of that. But it didn't do that in Rise of the Triad. But you still got the mainstays. You got the uh, switches and the doors. Though I'm not sure if that one problem persists where... I mentioned before, like, one door... One switch is next to this door, but you press the switch, it opens the door over there. And vice versa. Oh yeah, the bouncing missiles. Forget about that. But yeah, this looks... This is miles ahead of Oblige when it comes to map architecture. Look at this. Okay, I don't know why the... Uh... I mean, it's just vanilla music, but whatever. There we go. I was like using burst mode on this. Yeah, we got crates here. Got a sort of trash can. Yeah, it's sort of an urban setting for this. That explains it. But uh, 
I might toy around some more of the settings. See what else. <laughs> see what other weird combinations we can come up with. Oh, and in case you're wondering, Alpha Depot 535038M0. Well, the, uh. The names are as nonsensical as ever, but you know. That's kind of to be expected. Yeah, I'm not sure. It, it might just something about the, uh... Like, upper and lower, uh... Levels or whatever. I suppose I like more verticality. Because, uh... It kind of looks the same as far as that, that's concerned. Ooh, this is nice. Like a little subway. Stairwell. Oh, got a Schwarzer's rug. Okay, I've been too busy killing stuff. <laughs> I haven't been paying much attention to... Uh, actually progressing. I'm just... Watching everything die around me. That's the beauty of Russian Overkill. It's kind of cool that they used a... Uh, a modified Schwarzer's work sprite <laughs> for one of the weapons in uh, one of the mods I played previously. It's not Daka. Spawn Path to Damnation, yeah, that do like a. I want to say auto shotgun. It's pretty cool to use the Schwarzer's work sprite. Look how big this is. Yeah, there's still a lot more to explore, so you know what? Let's just do a Let's see what else has come. Okay. Unknown oh, top texture. Oh, okay. Got some weird texture things. I'm not sure about that, but you know. We'll just do god mode. Okay. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Man. I'm not sure how long this uh, branch of Oblige has been in development, but it's still in beta, granted, but so far, I like it. I'll still use Oblige from time to time, but occasionally, I'll fire up Obsidian. It has like, a little more visual variety. Okay, you know what? Let's just go uh, fly and no clip. Man, this is. This may sound weird, but uh, if you show us someone for the first time without telling them that it was map generated, they would believe that they made this from the ground up. Granted, it's, uh, the layout's still all over the place, but you look at the design that this makes, this is, I'm not gonna lie, this map generator is impressive. I can't believe I didn't come across this earlier. So I'm glad, uh, Bradman X, uh, showed this off for me. I guess the way I had the settings, yeah, they're gonna get bigger. The Covert Reserve. Okay, let's see what it looks like in later levels. Let's, let's get to 21. Oh my god, it's taking a while to load. Do, well, the maps get bigger. The, uh, the Downtrodden Sacrament. The Return. Okay. Okay, you know, let's... Let's see what names we've got here. Alpha Depot 535. Okay. UAC Data Center. The Covert Reserve. Universal Storage, the Nukage Reactor, the Blast Archive, the Gravwell Warehouse, Treatment Network, Phobos Base, Interior Casern, a Jaunt to the Iron Range, okay, Barren Remnants, Wretched Warehouse, okay, so the, uh, 
the uh, mo the names of the maps still kind of ridiculous, but it's nowhere near uh, as weird as Oblige in that regard. Brycom Drive, Remote Strip Revisited, the Bonsaltus Bonsaltus Hallways. Some weird ass words here. Uh, Pewald Crossing, Burnout, Calamity in the Route, Linsty PL. The Downtrodden Sacrament, the Return. But I've never been to the Downtrodden Sacrament before, so how can I return if I've never been there in the first place? We may never know. And most likely, we will never care. Alright, Disastrous Mosque, Adventure to the Defiled Abbey, Archduke Threshold, Embraced by Lucifer. Sound like some 90s death metal album. The Silent Colonnade, The Obsidian Balcony, Oh Dear, Not Another Dreaded Citadel. <laughs> The Monstrous Nest and Shadow Void Sun. <laughs> Fuck off the solar and Niger's Subterranean Battlements. Okay. So. We're going with the demonic, you know, the typical, like, hellscape uh, tile set here. This is just for curiosity's sake. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is. This ever looks like something straight out of Doom 2. Or maybe even Doom 1. If for some reason uh John Moore decided to make maps with tons of monsters in him. Okay. Okay, let's see how the uh, icon of sin fight is. Okay, it's the same. Complete with the uh skull texture there but uh yeah this is basically a new version of oblige and uh holy shit is a feature pack i'm gonna be playing around with this and generate some map packs to play with my future doom videos and whatnot so this is <laughs> this is amazing i can't believe i didn't come across this earlier so thank you to bradman x i hope i got your name right i'll have to double check make sure and, yeah, so I missed your comment before. I was too busy with in real life stuff, so I, I don't really keep track of comments on my videos and stuff. But anyway, yeah, this is just a little showcase for Obsidian. See what it looks like, and yeah, I'm actually impressed by it. I'm, doing, I'm making some more map packs to goof around with. So, yeah, this is I'm Gonna Caleb signing out. Y'all have a good day.